Hello friends, welcome to MATLAB school. In this video, we are going to simulate the regenerative braking in electric vehicle employing permanent magnet synchronous motor PMSM. Let us get into the simulation part. So this is the model of uh, uh, regenerative braking in PMSM. Uh, you can see uh, the reference, reference speed to be 1500 rpm and uh, these two blocks are used to convert uh, the rpm to voltage and frequency okay so this will be converted to voltage and this will be this will convert the rpm to frequency uh, there be we are maintaining a ratio of v by f constant right um, and this is basically a v by f control based uh, control of pmsm and uh, uh, this block will produce uh, the PWM output and it is given as input to uh, to the AND gate here and uh, this is the PMSM motor and these are the uh, specifications of PMSM motors okay so uh, Inside this block, we have the brake control. Uh, uh, this block is connected to the slider here. So whenever we vary this, uh, vary the position of the slider, uh, you can see the value of uh, uh, this brake uh, value changing. Okay. Uh, so whenever the voltage goes above zero, uh, the motor has to be turned off. So the turning off motor corresponds to a value of zero here and whenever the value uh, is less than zero it corresponds to uh, the motor in on condition that is whenever the uh, uh, position of the brake pedal is at zero the motor has to be turned on okay so when this becomes zero what will be the output of this block that corresponds to the on condition of motor <coughs> okay so when the motor is turned on and as well as uh, when the pulse uh, uh, comes from or comes out of this block uh, this AND gate will give output to the next block okay, that is to this block so here uh, inside this block we will find uh, battery then inverter and this model is for controlling the uh, system during regenerative braking okay um, so during the time of regenerative braking um, the current will be measured and it is given as input to this uh, comparator block basically this is a subtractor block that will compare the um, uh, actual current with the reference current okay so here you have to give the rated value of the motor uh, that you will find in the nameplate details of the motor uh, so uh, this nameplate details i mean the current given in the nameplate details will uh, will be considered as the maximum current so i am giving the maximum current to be 5 here right so this minus sign corresponds to the negative flow of current so during the time of regenerative braking the current will be flowing from the battery to the motor sorry uh, motor to the battery so uh, this uh, negative sign uh, corresponds to the flow of current in a negative direction the output of this block is given as input to the p controller uh, here uh, we have the braking uh, output of braking pedal so that is multiplied with the output of pa controller and the output is given as input to the uh, dc dc pwm generator okay so here the PWM value varies from 0 to 1. Uh, the advantage of this method is we are uh, uh, utilizing the uh, internal inductance of PMSM uh, to act as the inverter in boost converter. Okay. So we are not utilizing any, uh, any other resources to uh, make the power to flow from motor to battery during the time of regenerative braking. Uh, so we are just using the already existing inverter setup and 
the inductance present in the motor okay uh, so we are the turning of the upper level switches and the inductor during the time of regenerative braking that's why i'm giving zero here okay so the zero is given uh, given to the upper half switches or upper higher order switches uh, this is uh, first gate first switch okay and this is the gate of second switch uh, i mean the third switch one two three four five six so for the switches one three and five we need to give zero okay one three and five i'm giving zero and for the lower switches two four and six uh, i'm giving variable uh, pwm okay so let us run the model now the model is compiling let us open the scope The scope has opened. Okay, so you can see the speed is zero now because the uh, brake pedal is applied. So to make the motor to run, uh, we need to bring that to zero. Okay, I'm bringing that to zero. So the speed is increasing. So uh, the motor speed is trying to settle at 1500 rpm uh, because the reference speed is 1500. Yes. Uh, here we can apply mild brake as well as uh, heavy brake. Initially I am going to apply heavy brake then I will apply a mild brake. Okay. So I am giving the full pedal operation during braking so the speed is settled at 1500 rpm okay now the speed is decreasing at the same time the current is going in the reverse direction okay so it has reached zero and the speed is about to reach zero okay Yes, the speed has come down to zero and here you can see the negative flow of current let us zoom that part let's see uh, you can see the speed decreasing from 1500 rpm to zero and during that time the current uh, has gone to the negative side so the, this corresponds to the regenerative braking so let us up uh, run the motor again then we will apply uh, regenerative i mean uh, a mild brake okay the speed is settling at 1500 rpm Okay, now the speed has settled at 1500 rpm and the current is near to 200 ampere. Now I am going to apply mild brake. Okay, so the braking is very mild. So you can see the uh, speed decreasing very slowly. Okay, if you apply uh, heavy brake the speed will uh, decrease fastly see here see when i change the position of brake pedal you can see the uh, speed variation <coughs> Okay. 
Yes. Now the speed is uh, zero. Okay. I'm stopping the model now. And let us zoom this part. Yes, uh, this is during the time of heavy braking and this is during the time of mild braking okay so during both the times you can see the flow of current in the negative direction okay yes uh, thanks for watching the video uh, if you want you can download this model uh, from the link given in the description uh, and you can use it thank you